I'm gonna actually do this in real time. I was actually gonna go to sleep until I decided, hey, like I should watch the state of play to see what's new, what's going on with the gaming industry. And then Capcom just randomly drops the Resident Evil 4 Remake VR trailer. And then right after that, the separate ways trailer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the trailer and kind of have a discussion video of what to expect. So basically I'm just gonna go over frame by frame. This is like unscripted because I wanna get this video out to you guys as soon as I can. And again, I'm so sorry for the video's format, but make sure to like the video if you enjoy the content as it helps the videos reach the algorithm. If you're new to the channel, welcome in and be sure to subscribe. I did not expect them to drop a trailer, but all right, let's go over what we saw in the trailer. So obviously we get the Resident Evil 4 VR mode and that's coming in the winter time. And we get this text elsewhere, another mission is underway, which is obviously Ada, another way, meaning separate ways. Then we see a shot of Leon entering the village, which is the first mission in Resident Evil 4 Remake. So here we see a shot of Ada just on top of the bell tower, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm assuming this is the bell tower. We see like the structure of the main village here and these pillars. I'm not too familiar what part of the village these pillars are in, but we can assume she's looking down to Leon. So here we can actually see Ada Wong swinging like she's literally Spider-Man across. This is the mission right after we meet the merchant. Is this the part before the lake? I'm not sure what part this is actually, but I'm assuming this is a dark area. It looks a little different because it's daytime out actually, but this area is definitely a dark area when you play as Leon. So she's talking about what terrible actions will be done in its name and who will pay its dark cost. We see her entering the castle and obviously that's Wesker speaking, saying, fine, Lewis, fetch me the amber. We could see her just swinging down again with her little infamous hook shots. And then we could see Wesker there and then we see her on the jet ski, which is interesting. We've never seen that in the original actually, but we can assume that's how she gets in the castle. And now it makes sense for her to use the jet ski because she obviously had the keys this whole time to give to Leon. So it makes sense that she's driving the jet ski finally. Huh, this is interesting. We can see Ada was actually there the whole time spying down on Leon and Ashley. To me, this is like the one of the most badass moments in the trailer. She's doing literally like some attack on Titan maneuver and it looks absolutely insane so this is the area around the end of the game where ashley controls the bulldozer then we can see more interactivity between ada and luis again which is pretty interesting this is actually the house where you had to stand the ganados off with leon i believe and with ashley hiding in the hole oh my god okay then we're gonna fight <laughs> more of the Iron Maidens, of course. We can see Ada with the Ember. In this scene, we can see Ada actually escaping from the castle, rooftop to rooftop, which is actually cool. I like that. If we're able to maneuver like that around the map and traverse this way, this would actually be so cool. And I think it might be this way. I think we're going to be able to traverse with Ada this way since it is a shorter DLC. We're not going to be able to go inside of the castles and stuff. So they must have figured out a way for us to traverse through these levels quicker than Leon. So this actually explains the roof to roof or I should say castle to castle swinging and ending dialogue of Louis saying it's what I researched for all these years Ada. So this is interesting. Ada's infected and I see the symptoms already showing up in your eyes. She's infected with Las Plagas. This isn't actually this is an actually interesting change. Ada's infected. And then of course we see the Mercenaries free update trailer. I'm not sure if Separate Ways is free, but I'm assuming it's not. But all this is actually coming out next week, September 21st, 2023, which is ridiculous. I did not expect any of this to come soon. But all right, guys, I'm so sorry for the quality of the video. Um, I just wanted to get this out to you guys as soon as possible. But let me know what you guys think about the trailer. Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? But one thing's for sure, we're finally going to get separate ways next week, which is crazy to say, actually. But again, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I want you guys to have an amazing day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. And until then, peace.